I think planting trees is really important because they produce oxygen. Spending time in nature makes me feel calm because you can see like all of the flowers and all of the animals and planting trees is just fun. We came down here, we got our spades out, we put some saplings in the ground and it was just wonderful, the kids were so enthusiastic and the weather didn't put them off. I'm soaked but they don't mind. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the story of the Glasgow Children's Woodland, a plot of land that has been turned into their very own forest by the primary school children of Glasgow. The story begins at the start of 2020, when a group of volunteers came up with a wild idea. Their idea was to give every primary school child in Glasgow an acorn to grow into their very own tree and plant them all together to create a children's woodland. So what inspired me to start this project was a story. When I was reading it to my daughter, Ashling, it was when Gary Matai was a Kenyan activist and she started up the Green Belt Movement. In Kenya, there was these women, village women who were kind of facing deforestation. And when Gary encouraged them to kind of go into the woodlands to kind of pick up tree seeds, and they just planted it in tin cans. It was just there own straightforward thinking and simple, beautiful hope. It kind of haunted me to maybe we need to kind of, how crazy this would be. How about every Glasgow kid gets yeah. the opportunity to grow a tree from a seed? I'm a pupil at a Glasgow primary school and in March 2020, the Lost Woods gifted us a bag of acorns. We planted them in little cups of compost and watched them grow. Our saplings grew green and strong, and we were all so excited to know that soon we'd be planting them all with other schools. And we had a plan, we had yes. a plan, we had a week during which we were going to deliver, uh, I think, almost 50,000 acorns to 151 schools. So we've been involved with the Lost Woods project right from the very start. Um, before the first lockdown, all the children in the school were given an acorn from the Lost Woods and they were planted and they took them home along with a lovely wee quote about how tiny little acorns can put up with anything. I first heard about the Lost Woods project when Alex and some of the team came to my office and shared with me this bold and ambitious idea they had, a vision to get the children of Glasgow involved in this climate project to leave a legacy around COP26. It was crazy but wonderful. It was something that, it was so simple in its form that people could really identify yeah. with. The logistics were vast and the scale was huge. But yeah, and they just... <laughs> They bought into it, thankfully. I think the most incredible thing about the Lost Woods project is just the scale on which the team wanted to do it. It wasn't about a few children, it wasn't about a few trees, it was about taking every single primary school in Glasgow and getting all of them involved. And there was something lovely and organic about it and we just took faith in mm. the idea. Do you know, we didn't think we were entering into a global pandemic. Oh it's goodness, crazy. that happened? Yeah. <laughs> The fact that the pandemic then came along during the project and that didn't stop the team. They were still desperate to, to get those acorns out to children as quickly as they could and to give them something to focus on. As the schools were closing for the first lockdown, those children were taking those acorns home and nurturing them and watching them grow. And I think that's something that's a really incredible legacy from it. As plans came together, a location was chosen. This is the Cathcan Braes in the south of Glasgow, beside Castle Milk in Carmanach. It's got the highest point in the whole city and a wonderful wind turbine. There's some ancient woodland there called the Big Wood. And now there will be a brand new woodland created by us, the children. It was a site, 13 hectare site on the south side of the city. That's enormous. Isn't it was it? enormous and yeah. it was huge and it was perfect. Yeah. The scale of it became something really exciting. Yes. That they'd all done this as individuals, but could come on mass and yeah. create something bigger than anything that had been done for the last 14 yeah. years in Glasgow. 
I live in Kashmir. And the children of Woodlands will, I hope to give us like a lot of different areas that we can actually plant trees. It will be great to have people to plant their own trees and see how it grows up. To be here and to see this field that's about to be turned into a woodland by the children of Glasgow next week is just phenomenal. Over a year and a half after they had their idea, the team of volunteers had got everything ready for all of the Glasgow's primary schools to come and plant their trees at the Glasgow Children's Woodland in the first week of October. It was our mission to make our very own woodland. I think until the first child put their yes. first foot forward on that field. Oh, I know. I mean, <laughs> I really didn't remember right. when uh -huh. you could see the stream of buses come in and then the waves. <laughs> Kids coming up, and we're like, This is what we've worked two years uh -huh. for. Keep uh -huh. going. Um, I think it's important for wildlife to do it and because it's coming into the winter animals will need a home so if we plant it now there'll maybe be small trees for them. I'm finding planting really fun because first of all we don't have to sit in school and do maths and there are less and less trees because the city is like we're building lots of buildings now and there's less nature areas like woods and things and trees are actually like really good for the environment. I'm finding um, planting today quite hard because the soil is tough but being with all my friends here and um, it, doing something for the environment just makes it so much better. I think when I come back when I'm older I'll like see all the trees and then I'll like show my family like, this is the tree I planted and I hope lots of people come here to see the work that we've done. Being at the site for the first time, just amazing and the children were just so excited and just uh, privileged to be just part of this uh, great legacy for uh, Glasgow. I think the benefits uh, for the children just are, you know, long lasting just in many ways. It'll just make us think as well a bit locally about our school, what we can do in our area. After the second uh, lockdown, some of the children brought their oak saplings back to school and we've been really pleased today to be able to bring some of those oak saplings here and plant them as part of the Lost Woods. The woodlands gave us these acorns and we just got a bunch of soil and we one day one of the classes in the Eco Club just planted them all in these pots and we sent them around the school so they could look after them during lockdown. That's how they been, came here and we just needed to keep them at home and water them a lot so they could grow. My favourite thing is being able to put my plant next to my sister's plant because we'll be able to come back and see them and still be together and stuff. So that'll be my favourite part, 100%. So we are now going to have, by the end of today, we will have received 147 schools and we are planting up to now. We've got 10,000 trees in the ground and we're going to get to that final goal of 17,000 trees. My best memory about tree planting is meeting everyone now and my friend. I don't think there's any hard parts, it's if you have a friend and you have fun doing it if you have a friend. Sometimes when you put a seed in the ground, they we get grow. You then have to put water and wait for the sunshine and then grow and turn into a baby tree and when they grow up to that, be a teenager tree and and when they go to this tall, it will be a tree. And we don't chop trees because there will be no tree left to the animals and us to breathe. My favourite thing about doing is this is that I'm helping our, my planet become healthier and helping Glasgow become a bit more eco-friendly. The animals help need our help and um, the world needs our help so, we're, so we're, we need to try and do the best as we can. 
It's for climate change and also it, it kind of helps us at the same time. Like trees help us breathe because they take in all this carbon dioxide. If nature does have any trees, um, we won't be able to breathe in there. We won't have air and all that. And it's really good to just see that the earth is getting better with the younger generation. And with that final tree in the ground, the growth of the Glasgow children's woodland had truly begun. Over the coming decades, we'll be able to watch our trees grow from saplings into a dense forest that we can bring our children to and explore for the rest of our lives. And that was our last tree planted and it's been a fabulous day. We've had seen kids and teachers all buzzing going on the bus home, um, full of the joys and also it's like singing the song that Rowan Bank has been teaching them and Oi Musica, which is Let It Grow. And what a lovely message to kind of sing on the way home. Wherever there's a tree that never grew, let it grow. got behind the vision because it was such an incredible idea. It just encapsulated everything that we need to do around climate to put children at the heart of it and to give them some hope and some belief that actually we can act now and we can make small differences that will actually change uh, the, the, the future of the world. We know that planting trees is going to be absolutely crucial to meeting our climate targets and delivering a healthy planet for these kids' future and kids to come. So there's nothing more important we could be doing. The children's woodland is very important. It's our chance as young people to create a legacy from our generation to the next. It allows us to connect with nature, save the earth, and spend more time together outside. It's healthy for us and also healthy for our dear green place.